Galaround Hunters, and welcome back to another episode of Star for the Command of Rampire's Plus Mod. I am Rear Admiral Tyrk in the Battleship Killing Song as we continue the cat fight against the Lyran Star Kingdom. And ooh, we may be a bit behind on our maintenance. Uh, I'm noticing that we are kind of alone out here, a little bit separated off from the main group. We may have to do a little bit of support on that, or we could continue to push on this planet here at 1 3. We've already taken the Lyran Homeworld at 3 3, so we're in a pretty good pretty solid position I'd wager so if we go after this planet first and then go for a connecting anyway that's advanced strategy how are y'all doing I'm doing fine I think we're doing quite well kicking butt taking major names that sort of thing we managed to blow up a whole bunch of battleships in the last couple of episodes so in our own fantastic battleship we have gotten into battle with our wonderful ship yes it's not a good joke but it's an okay joke so we're gonna push out back to 1-3 and we're gonna see how much damage that we can deal as fast as we possibly can uh, if we can destroy this planet, well, no, not destroy the planet. That that would be far too Star Wars for us to do. We're just gonna capture the planet, initiating the red alert system. Uh, we could run into dreadnoughts at any moment, so we will immediately prepare a scatter pack that is gonna eat up a couple of missiles. But we're offended them if we don't end up using them, so it's all fine and safe. Increasing speed to our 16 crews. We'll come over here, make sure that we are reinforcing the shields to full power. Still no targets. Hmm. So we are 23 seconds into this combat and still nothing. I was expecting something to pop up almost immediately, but I guess not. This is actually take two of trying to do this. I tried to start it and uh, a program popped up uh, telling me I needed to update it. And unfortunately, this game does not handle being alt-tabbed or minimized in any way at all well. And when it comes back, the entirety of the screen becomes like purple, teal, and green. It, it's horrific. It's... It, it ruins everything. So, uh, take two of trying to do this episode. <laughs> but we shall persevere and overcome and admire the go the wonderful starfields in back. Although it looks like it's only a frigate, and if that's the case, yeah, we're just gonna increase time. We're gonna kill you. Sorry, son, but we're just gonna fly right at you and annihilate you. We're not even gonna- we're not even gonna bring the missiles into- into play at all. We're gonna fire disruptors, and then we're gonna fire phasers, and by that point, you may be a war destroyer escort, but you're gonna die. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that ship. He's got... nothing. Do you have systems still on board? Oh, what a, what a nice expanding sphere generator. And... A couple more disruptor shots in through. These are just the most pathetic, like, escort craft ever. I don't know if this is purely because the AI doesn't make use of better fighters, but these are just awful. Terrible, even. If it is that the AI will only use one kind of fighter, could we please get them to, like, take a better kind of fighter? Because I know that most Federation ships we run across will only field hawks, rather than, you know, their amazing things like vultures and stuff. So if it's a case of the AI will only grab one fighter, then maybe we put it... In. No, I didn't want to fire missiles. It's going to be such a waste. Watch. He's, yep. There he goes. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, if it's just they grab this slot, can we swap the slots? And the reason why I'm asking is because, well, these fighters suck. They're terrible. They're awful. They really serve no purpose. Like, and that's not universally true. Like, the Plasma Race PFs, they're amazing. They're terrified. They are flat out something that I don't want to ever run into because, well, it's two plasma torpedoes that they bring to the fight. These guys are bringing what? I probably should, like, fire an actual volley at you. If you get my shield down to red, I'll, like, actually pay attention to you. Until that happens, though, I'm going to continue to try and kill your mothership. Still not killing you. You're going to make me have to work for this one, aren't you? Because, like, these PFs can't kill me. If I, if I lose the shield, it's because I messed up. Not because they actually have any business being a... Wow, you got me down to red. Can I get the disruptors on point now at this point, people? No, no, disruptors are going to stay offline for a little while. Nope. Phasers! How are you not dead at this point? Fine! Ugh. Die. Seriously? That was a waste of firepower. There was no reason that we should have had to do that. Hmm, flower. Doesn't it look like a rose to you? I think it looks like a rose. 
124 prestige, that won't even cover the cost of the missiles. Let's pop out, pop back, we gotta take a planet. We're gonna planetary assault this. Okay, shipyard assaults are... They're not boring. Just the second half of the mission is boring. We are facing off against a heavy cruiser and no other enemy targets as of right now, but that could definitely change fairly quickly. Uh, so we'll prep a scatter pack because we have seen a lot of dreadnoughts and battleships as of late. Although maybe we killed most of their ship of the line fleet. That would be pretty cool. Hit the reinforcement key. We're working on that. And what kind of planet are you? I want to go to here. Not turn the ship. You are a PL Phaser 10. Okay. Let's find out what that means. As soon as we uh, finish charging up the probe. There we go. And we'll increase speed up to our cruise speed, which should be somewhere around here. As it flies by, we'll also take a look at this heavy cruiser. If it's just a heavy cruiser, I'll be ecstatic, because that'll be nice and safe. It is looking like it's just a heavy cruiser. He is armed with six disruptors and four expanding sphere generators. Wow, he's a battle cruiser X and a big X battle cruiser, not a little X battle cruiser which means he's got better power generation. He might have an ESG lance. I'll have to double check and take a look. Okay, so this is a big one. So we're going to have to try and operate using a minimalistic missile style. Let's deploy the fighters on a combat air patrol or combat aerospace patrol. That way you can avoid saying, hey, it's space. You don't actually like have air to have fighters to air patrol in. Ooh -wee. Yep, so range of 42. We really should have started our engagement sooner than this. Let's increase speed, see if we can't get up to full-on Merv speed. And he's opening fire on our forward shields. Forward shields are holding quite nicely. Uh, I'm detecting at least two of these. I'm not willing to look on another screen in order to find that out. Uh, this second Merv is going to be close. But it is something I want to do. Yeah, we may have to drop back. He's activated the expanding sphere generator. He's activated multiple expanding sphere generators. We're gonna hit him. All systems, target. And now, oh, he's losing speed. Rear weapons, and fire the missile salvo. And now, yep, that'll kick that off. Bad timing, little guy. Anything on the all weapon select? No, we do not, okay. Let's target the big, B the big X battle cruiser. And deploy a scatter pack now. Scatter pack deployed. Nice job picking off the fighters. I approve. Pop, 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 pop. Come on. There we go. Whew. I was a little bit worried that it would take out the uh, missiles. So the fighters have done their combat air patrol job. Excellent. Very pleased. Let's get some Mervs in there because I'm positive that this won't kill him. Yeah, he's a PF tender. He's got a ton of tractor beam systems. He's activated his expanding sphere generator once again, so he will pick off the missiles doing that. However, we're keeping our fighters on defense, so they're staying by us rather than getting too close to him. Disruptors are activated, and we will fire at a range of about 10 once we get within it. Causing some light damage, and the Merv all got eaten up by the ESG. But at this point, I can't imagine there's much power left in this ESG. Um, fighters, get away from that. I don't want you hitting it. He's just activated another ESG. So we took it for the fighters and everybody else. There goes another Wild Weasel. So he may have another one? But that'll be an interesting thing to check. Open fire with the phasers. We're going to reveal ourselves a bit. It wasn't the most accurate fire because he still got that defense shift from the shuttle. But now we fire everything. This will do him in. He's dead here. Good job. All right, target the planet. What did we lose? Anything? Uh, a couple of points. Nothing on power, because 76 is our normal power. Uh, the Merv rack got damaged, and we uh, lost one of our very fragile uh, anti-missile defense systems. Will not matter. Okay, let's bring the shuttles in, or the fighters in. Both fighters get back on board. And we're going to accelerate up to Merv speed so that we can build a nice big cloud. And uh, take care of all of his point defense systems. Now we are also going to send all of our power to the forward shield. And we should be able to accomplish this in 
in fairly good style. What we can do is we can set up at long range and just lob fire in. I'm not a super huge fan of that idea because I'm not I'm not sure stringing out salvos is a great way to go about it. How many murders we got left? We're looking at five salvos. All right. So range of uh, 72, well, well, close to 70. And we'll start creating a nice thick merv cloud. So two mervs. We might be able to do three mervs in a full salvo. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. Why not experiment, you know? Slow down a bit. Because planets do not have uh, shuttle bays, and they won't have expanding super generators. Which means they will be vulnerable to this sort of attack. Let's launch a probe, just so we have a good idea of what's there. Like, we know what's there, but I want to see it. That way I can't mess it up by going like, what's actually on this planet? Who knows? Nobody. Yeah, I want to see the actual systems. Okay, so... 4, 8, 12, 16 Phaser 3s. Christ. That is a lot of Phaser 3 systems. So yeah, we're going to go with a triple barrage then. We're going to put three of these things down. And that ought to be enough to screen the full-on kick-butt salvo that we're going to kick out of after that. I'll prep another scatter pack uh, just to add weight of fire to this. Because shooting down 16, it's going to be... It's going to be difficult. Alright, on course. Ready for another salvo. We're up to th that many mervs. And we'll now engage with B-Racks. And now we'll start to slow down. Alright, here's where things are going to get ugly. Because now we're getting into his Phaser 4 range. So we've cut all speed. And we're just drifting in. Range of 10. Stand by. This is where it gets ugly. Okay, so he shot down the first round. Okay, we're through. All weapons, open fire. We're, we're standing up to his incoming fire. But not for much longer. We gotta cause some serious damage to this pretty quick. Because that forward shield is not gonna last much longer. These point defense systems do look like they're offline though. Alright, we're at uh we're at range. All power to forward shield. All weapons engage. Engage as you cycle. We've gotta keep the fire going as much as possible. Because we do not last if his Phaser 4s get another couple of salvos in on us. Yeah. Continue to bombard the planet. Everything you've got. How are you doing on point defense systems? You've lost a lot of systems, but you haven't lost them all yet. And we really need you to lose them all. Oh, I think we took them out. Alrighty, let's get on the Marines. How are we doing? Two Marines. Beam him over. Continue energy bombardment. We'll save the missiles. We're out of V-Racks. I imagine the C-Racks are almost dry. Oh, no, they're not. Surprisingly, we still have another three and a half salvos from the C-Racks. We're not going to use it anymore, but... Good shell. Planet captured all on our lonesome. Now, granted, the defense on this was just a single heavy cruiser, which we, out we outrank by two tiers. It was a battle cruiser, so two tiers. Because you gotta go dreadnought in the battleship. Although he was an X type, like a large X, not not X at the beginning, but still a big X. Three thousand prestige. We're gonna be spending a lot of that because we're coming back to repair the damage. Uh, no Bassengees were harmed in the making of this film. Excellent. And now for the missiles, which are two hundred and seventy-five. Wow, the price of those missiles is just. It's astonishing. Back into space, back into combat, back into the mission, and another planetary assault. Getting our money's worth on planetary assaults today. That's ready, rock and roll. Increase speed. We are escorted today by HMS Tenacity, which appears to be a 
close range fusion cannon uh, Lyran ship fighting against a heavy dreadnought and a planet. Planet is PL8 system. So I'm going to guess that you're not actually armed with anything. That would be really cool. Let's prep a scatter pack. And we'll target the uh, dreadnought. As soon as we're able to, we will fire a probe past his shoulder at the planet itself so that we can get a good look at everything that we're going to be fighting. And that'll keep us on a pretty good footing. Reinforce all shields. We are powered up on there. Phasers should be charged by now, so fire in that. And we'll take a look at him as it passes by. This is a heavy dreadnought. Was it heavy dreadnought X? It is. It is the Razor. Probably Razor Claw, I'm going to guess. Just judging by their traditional naming schemes. So DNHX reveals to be the Razor Claw. Okay, good. He's got two, four ESGs, six disruptors, and a whole bunch of Phaser Xs. Now we will target the planet, and the planet is incredibly poorly armed. Only capable of shooting down eight missiles at a time. Range is 62 and closing, so select the Mervs. Let's get this assault underway. There we go, a nice big cloud. We'll increase speed. One thing about heavy cruisers, drone cruisers, being a little bit better at this than battleships are, is due to the fact that they have better acceleration and deceleration. So, us having to increase speed to get up to speed 24 to match our missiles, that takes us a while. Like, we just don't do anything very fast, changing-wise. I mean, we do do 16 at, while charging all weapons, which is pretty, pretty phenomenal. Okay, he's deployed his PFs. We shall deploy our fighters on defense. So that we all know where we're standing here. And we're going to slow right on down. He's activated the ESG. Two ESGs. We're going to eat it. And then we're going to fire everything we got. Oh, it looks like he took a lot of that. Cascade failures. He's lost all systems power. Oh, nice. That was not a wild weasel. Okay. Wow. I forgot Basenji's had Gatling phasers. That's great. Uh, Basenji's come home. Return back to the ship, please. Okay. So that dreadnought just had no chance whatsoever. We're going to get up to speed and we're going to start our slinging that we like to do. Mervs are selected. We were pressing the X key and not the Z key. Missiles incoming. Keep going, keep going. We need to get a second volley ready. And now we'll drop back. And now we select all standard style missiles. Add them to the mix. Slow down speed to normal time, because now we need to start paying attention to where we're going. Oh, I thought for a second the planet had fired at the tenacity. Whew. Like, oh my god, what kind of weapon is that? It's a weapon of mass destruction. You can't stop it. But no, it turns out it was just the tenacity firing its fusion beams at maximum range. Good show tenacity, I guess? Not really. I mean, it was super foolish. And we need to wait until... Uh, until our missiles hit before we can fire more, because we can only control oh, so many. He's grabbed a whole bunch. But now they're all getting through. Now they're starting to hit targets. I think this will be as many salvos as required. Let's go over to the uh, capture. Yeah, he's got nine left. This is going to come in and just... It's over. Eight. Now the big missiles. Come on. Kill. Death. Yep, two. Okay. Uh, our ability to just put damage on target is phenomenal. I'm super happy about it. Being in a battleship is such a fun feeling. Come on. 6.5. We need to get 5.9. There we go. All stop. And we are stopped. Okay. And normal people time. Beam over, everybody. And increase time. Now we just wait. We wait as our marines secure the planet. There can be no stopping us now. The planet is now ours. It is system 1x3. Which is accurate. That That's actually where it is supposed to be. 
Every so often it gives it like a, a ship name, which is always kind of amusing. So 495 prestige, neutralize the tile, and we're kind of getting low on time for the episode, but we've neutralized the tile. Let's see if we can't kick off a cheeky patrol real fast. Watch, this is the uh, this is the mission that takes us 40 minutes. Ready all stations, prepare for combat. Prep a scatter pack. We're going to try and kill this as quick as we possibly can. Increase to speed of 16, where we can do our full power charge. All systems reinforced to the maximum. And select Mervs, as that will be the primary weapon that we engage with. Target is a Dreadnought. Dreadnought is DNHX. So very similar fight to what we had not all that long ago. Let us slow down to normal people speed, increase power there, and commence Merv attack. Deploy fighters. Defend me. Defend me. Begin prepping another scatter pack. We're going to see if we can't get a full salvo going before we actually engage him. And the Merv is currently having the... Uh, the visual glitch where it shows me that only half the tube is loading, which is always a little bit scary. Because like, wait, am I out of ammunition? No, no, the game is just glitching out just a little bit. He's firing at long range. Okay, let's drop back down to our combat speed. And we'll put out a full bird salvo now. Just as soon as these mervs get up nice and close ahead. Ready, steady, rock and roll. Alright, all weapons select. Actually, we'll have to engage with Disruptors first. He turns, and he's using his Expanding Sphere Generator. He did take it on the nose. And then he deployed a Wild Weasel. Slow down, slow down. We're going to see how close we can get to... Come on, disappear, disappear. I want the full firepower. We did take a hit through, increase power, and come to starboard. All right, we need to pull away from him now and let our systems really deal the damage now. I see one squadron of Bassengees. What happened to the other? Don't tell me we lost it. It's out there somewhere. Oh, wow. Nice shots. Come on, we need to pull away from this guy. We took a point of damage. We took some shock damage on the ship, but we're mostly intact. But the key thing is we haven't engaged with our main battery yet. And he did. Good show. Targets destroyed. Hopefully our fighters weren't destroyed in that, because that would be expensive. Let's see how we came out of that one. 250, that'll cover the price of missiles. And we took the planet, and that'll cover the price of a lot of things. So, you yeah. I was going to go back to the thing to like show off the planet, but we can't do it because we're stuck here on a diplomatic mission, but that is the end of an episode right there. Uh, we are doing very fine now. We've got location data on another planet up here to the north, but yeah, things are looking pretty good. The economic heart of the Lyrid Star, King, Star Empire is starting to fall. Uh, yeah, so next episode, we'll probably push up north. Uh, yeah, because we, the game automatically has connected this territory now, so we're we're no longer in danger of being cut off, so now we can focus all our energies in continuing the thrust northward. So that sounds like a plan to me. Anyway, I've been Tirak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.